Greetings and welcome. I hope you're ready to learn. In today's lesson, we're going to be showing you how to format a paperback book using Microsoft Word for Amazon KDP. So we're going to start off with your Kindle book or your original document. And um, we're going to get started right away. So this is the simple way that I do it. Everything might not be perfect and lined up, but this is like my process and um, the book gets accepted every time. Like the layout might not be as beautiful, but it gets the job done and it gets the books up and selling. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open, of course, the document and we're going to go to layout, margins, custom margins. Oh, before we even do that, let's save our document as um, something different so you don't get confused. So we're going to go to save as, and then we're going to put something like, I always put like create space or something like that. So you can have a different document. You know what I mean? You don't want to um, mess up your original Kindle book document and then you'll have to go back and it will get all messy. So make sure to save it as um, create space or anything that you would like. That's funny that I said create space because it's no longer create space is actually just in the Amazon KDP interface. But if you're a newer publisher, you're probably like, what is that? But um, for us that have been publishing for a while, we know that um, Amazon, now you can just do it right from KDP dashboard. So that's great. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. So let's just go to layout, margins, custom margins. And what we're going to do is go to layout. I mean, go to paper. And um, the typical book is six by nine. This is just my process, like I'm saying, but this gets the job done and you will have a paperback book that will be able to be shipped to buyers. That's what's important. So six by nine. So that's really all I change. And I have the latest version of Microsoft Word that I know of. There has been no updates. And I'm going to go to ignore because if you go to fix, you might mess something up. So just let it do its thing. Now, this is an old book. Look, I even have the creation, create space thing there. So what you want to do is go in your document and um, I usually do it on black and white paper. So um, I used to um, remove the links from here. Like if you want to remove links that you might have going towards something because it is going to be a paperback book, there's really no need. But if you don't remove them, it's not a big deal. You'll still be able to um, get your book published. So we're going to remove hyperlink if you want to do that. Or you could just leave it there. But if it's a blue hyperlink, you might just want to change it to black. But we'll move on to that. So I'm just going to take this completely out because it's obsolete. And I probably need to go back and do this in my Kindle book as well. But there's no reason for this anymore. So what I was talking about, if you have any links in your book, because um, it was previously, you know, uh, an ebook, what you want to do is just go highlight that. And then what we're going to do is change the font color to black. So that's what I would do. And I wouldn't put click here. I would say go to like, say if this was, um, you know, wherever you want them to go. So visit www whatever your website is for access instead of um, saying click here. So I'm just going to remove this completely and just have the content in there. Okay. So there we go. Um, so just make sure you're um, saving as you go. Table of contents. That's great. There's no clickable blue links. You don't want anything like that. Um, make sure everything's all good. You might want to go if you have to, you know, um, start that over, what you want to do is go to insert and go to page break. If you want to start the, um, it over, say if that this was like out of line, if this was out of the margin, you want to do that. And if you want to change, like, if you don't like how little this is, what I would like, how small is is very, it's not very wide. And I actually don't like that. So I am going to change that. Usually I, it, I don't have to, but it looks like this particular one, I might have to, which is fine. Let's do 
wait, it will be not top, bottom, will be left and right. So let's do one or let's do 0 0.5 and see how that looks on each side. We want to change that, make it a little wider. So you see down here how it's wider. So 0 0.5 and okay, ignore. All right, so that makes it a little wider, or you can might even want to go with one instead of 0 0.5, but at least it looks a little better. I think I am going to go with one. But yeah, just play around with it a little bit until it looks the way you want it to look, because at the end of the day, there's no right or wrong, long as it comes out, you know, and you can also get, of course, a copy for yourself to make sure it looks the way you want it to look. And yes, some I do get, um physical copies so depending on the book not for every book because that will be a lot of books believe me I've been publishing a lot of books so <laughs> but yeah um it usually turned out the, the the main thing is the content don't worry about it being so pretty I mean it's great you know as long as it's legible and nothing's crazy so you'll be okay um okay I want to move this over so I would go to the top of that and push backspace okay Everything's flowing. All right. Everything looks good. Just want to make sure there's no links. I mean, I mean, if there is links, make sure that they're not blue, you know, because it's going to be a black and white book. So you want to make sure you don't have any other colors in there. OK. And if you do, if you do have clickable links, you want to make sure to actually put the actual full out link or just put visit, you know, the actual link. Make sure you type out the actual link. Okay, then I'm just making sure this looks good. Um, if you want your chapters to start, I'm gonna want all my chapters to start on the left. So what I'm gonna do is push enter. Oh, no, actually I'm gonna push insert page break so it can start on the next section. There we go, because I want all my pages to start over to the left. Um, I want that to be at least consistent, but you don't have to do that either. Like long as you have the content, there are probably books I have that don't do that, but you know, it all depends on what you want to do. Wow. Is that even supposed, that's not even supposed to be, oh no, that's an example. <laughs> I thought this was, um, that this was a squeeze page for the wrong thing, but it was just an example of how to do a squeeze page in one of your books. Okay. Chapter three is on the right side. So just go through and set up how you want. Make sure no links are looking weird. Make sure there's nothing that you don't want. As far as images too, that's, um, so we have another one. We're going to go to insert page break and save. Make sure you're saving, push control S on a PC. Okay. Keep scrolling down here. See and make sure I'm getting everything good. All right, chapter six looks good. And chapter seven looks amazing because it's on that side. This is a pretty long book. <laughs> um, all right, conclusion needs to be in the right place because that's the start of a new chapter. Control save, control S to save it. Or you can go, of course, to file save as you go. If you're a writer, you already know I've lost some, <laughs> I've lost enough work to know to save as I go. I don't have time. So, okay. Another thanks for investing in this book. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So I'm going to keep this image in here, but I do want to make it smaller. So it fits within the, um, you know, the lines of the book. So I'm just going to make it smaller. So it looks decent. Now, as far as it, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if it's going to print out in color or not. I really don't care. It's just, it's just an image. It's not anything, um, you know, that big of a deal. So we have a preview of the next book. So I am going to start this on the next page as well. Insert page break and control S. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's going to print in color or not, uh, whether if I think like if I swear in create space, there used to be an option, whether you want to print in color or not, I think it's going to print in black and white, which is fine with me. 
Uh, it doesn't matter either other way. Okay, so okay, now this below you'll find some other blah 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 blah. S simply click on the links. Um, you can't click because it's a paperback book, so we're going to take that out. I'm going to just put. Below you'll find some of my other books that are popular on Amazon and Kindle as well. Alternatively, you can visit my author page. Okay, that's true. So they can just do that. Um, and this is fine. I could remove these hyperlinks, but they're not going to bother me. And it, the book is still going to get approved even if you have a link. It doesn't matter. Just be a waste of time. to. Um, and they're not blue, so that's fine. If these links don't work, I want to remove these. And this was a template that I was using from a course that I took on Kindle publishing. Okay, so I'm going to also remove this as well. I don't need this. There's no create space anymore. See, this is how it goes. It gets obsolete. You gotta love internet marketing. So erase. All right. So that will be the last page of my book. Okay, so control save and that's pretty much the process. So what we need to do now is let's look at it in the previewer. So I already have it open, paper book options. Let's go to edit book details, but you will just push cre um, create paperback book and you'll see that link right below your Kindle book or your ebook, I keep assuming it's gonna be Kindle, even though you might have it in more than one thing. Paperback content, not started. Well, okay. That's strange, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. This is interesting. It says not stored it, but yet it was already up here. I haven't touched this since I converted my books from Create Space over to Kindle. So this is interesting. Is all my books like this? This is out of control. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, shoot, I need to add more keywords. Oh, I need to go back to all my paperback books and add more keywords. It's not even a lot. I only have seven keywords right here. So, but that's another story for another day. Let's continue, save and continue. And what we're going to do is look at the previewer. I apologize for all the riffraff. I didn't expect that, but let's get, let's keep going. Okay. Black and white. Like I said, six by nine, make sure that's selected. Um, no bleed and I have glossy. I don't really care which one. And did I, you know what? I've been putting Matt for all my other ones I've been doing. So what we need to do is upload the paperback manuscript. So click on that and then you want to find the document. But yes, we have to be going back and updating our books because that's obviously obsolete. And you know, it's crazy how times change, but you gotta love it. So we just wait for that to upload. Okay, now it says it has been uploading successfully processing your file. I'm just gonna go and save it real quick, just in case they get crazy. <laughs> okay, and I just wanna launch a previewer so you can kind of see what it will look like. This is what the process you need to go through to make sure that it's what you want published. Make sure that you, you know, if you wanna switch some things around, maybe you missed something, this is the, step I go through to ensure that it looks the way it should. All right, so here we have it. Um, looks good, the cover looks good. And then you just wanna click through and make sure that everything is looking quite all right from here. So yes, I'm liking it. I don't see anything wrong. Just click through, make sure you don't see any links, anything weird, make sure to, um, Chapters are starting on the right side, if you even care, because it really doesn't matter. Because I guess my chapters will be starting over here, technically. But everything's looking good. And just click through. And pretty much, I'm just going to hurry up and 
click through here so we can get this approved and you'll be on your way and depending on how long the book is it might take a little while <laughs> and this book is is pretty long everything's looking good all right i'm liking it oh and it goes on all right so that's great um i'm going to go with that one two page view thumbnail view i've never did this but hey for the sake of video oh see even better that's pretty cool I didn't even know you can do it like that. See, great for demonstration purposes. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I would I would recommend a two page view and then a thumbnail view just to go through and do a little sweep. So we're going to approve this um, quality check. They might say a little this, a little that, but uh, if they don't approve it, it will most likely be a, a issue with your cover. I never didn't get a book approved because of any um, thing in my content. So it should be fine. Okay, so I think we're good. So you would just save it and that's pretty much how you format a paperback book for Amazon KDP um, using Microsoft Word. So thank you for watching and um, I hope you sell millions and trillions of books and <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope this helps you.